Welcome back to another Enemy AI tutorial for Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna do a pretty simple but very effective teleporting pretty annoying enemy to be honest but a good standard and of course he's just teleporting all over the place but the most important part is that he's not clipping through areas which are defined as walls and therefore he's just always kind of in this bubble and therefore he's not getting too far out so teleporting just not through the whole level but just in his nice little bubble and then of course he's not clipping through the walls which look kind of silly so if you want to know how to do that in a few minutes in game maker studio stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing so the theory behind it is kind of easy so first of all we need our dude and then for example we have kind of a bubble around him where he can spawn like here 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 whatever so randomly around uh, or basically just any spot but of course uh, these areas are kind of like a no-go so therefore we have a collision with our wall and then just checking and then of course um, the first thing which we need to do is like define a spot of starting so basically a start x and y position and then kind of a range which is radial around our enemy so basically every time you set up a new dude they kind of have their own bubble of teleporting range and then the next thing is just have a little bubble around him for example um so basically oh yeah let's do it like this <laughs> so basically once we are teleporting with our guy he does not want to have or is being clipped by a wall around him so basically this is just kind of a buffer around him so he is not too near to any walls or whatever even though for example he's still good um it makes uh, sense to just have kind of the bubble around him so it looks more natural where he's spawning that's pretty much the whole spiel so let's go into game maker and basically let's close all that stuff we just got our teleporter and he has uh, a few uh, well things so basically a create event a step event this is where all the magic happens and then a draw event for debugging just for us uh, showing a few things which i'm gonna go uh, well in over in a few seconds so the first thing which i just said like hey we need a start position so in our create event we just say like hey our start and x and y position are getting stored in a value so we uh, kind of uh, create this radial field of teleportation uh, possible uh, spots and then we kind of have a range and then of course we need kind of a once again a kind of a mini radial buffer around him so basically here a little bubble so we don't clip too close to the walls even though for example we are still in a good spot so therefore this is once again a radial buffer around it and then we have the last thing which is then a timer so basically we have a timer which is running down and then we are teleporting so this one is so let's go by 40 and then for example um, what we are doing and this is I guess you've seen that tons of times in my video tutorials we just run that number down and then basically once that number is smaller or equals to zero well we kind of reset it and then we basically teleport to a random spot at the start so our timer and it is then then i random range i don't know between 40 and 100 so basically mm, around every second we are teleporting like a madman uh, <laughs> around here so wh what is our new position well it is basically x is from our starting point boom plus I random range or just random uh, we can actually go with random range doesn't really matter random range and then for example well because it's radial we can just go radially horizontally minus our teleporting bubble or plus and then of course we can do that vertically also so for our, our y value boom and then we are pretty much uh, finished for the start so let's check this out so as you can see this is already looking pretty sweet and then we are still in our bubble of teleportation well possible positions and then we're just running down our timer which you see above this dude then they are pew, pew, everywhere but of course sometimes we are clipping through a wall as you can see this is 
not what we want and therefore we need to establish a collision event so for that we just go and let's say like hmm let's make a collision and then call it is there a wall so var wall there and then we just say collision uh, circle and then of course we can um, uh, set it up to this new position which we now store in a variable basically var new position or location x and y so tew, these dudes here and then we just set them to our collision check if there is a wall so and then for example because i said like hey let's have a little bubble around them we just say like hey this kind of mini radial buffer around him um, so basically we are not clipping or it looks like we are clipping through a wall and then object wall parent which we want to check and of course well, this is my object wall parent so maybe your object wall is just called object wall or whatever basically uh, these walls around here so for example I just deactivate or activate basically here these areas should be off limit and therefore we are just checking for that so we're just saying like if we are not clipping so basically here we are returning no one so this is a return value so we are not returning any id of any wall because we're not clipping through anyone sweet then we are well spawning our x position to our new one just hold and bear with me so this is this and this is that of course we need to um then assign those values here and here but of course this comes with a little problem even though for example this code is working then um let's for example check this out like it looks now so let's see it's still kind of working but sometimes ah as you can see now he was stuck there because we just have one check and another check and another check and then he's teleporting maybe you don't want that you want to be teleporting all the time so what we're gonna do is bake it into a repeat loop so basically repeat loops just like hey repeat that a lot of times until maybe you uh, reach a conclusive uh, well solution and therefore we just bake it in between in here so basically here bam because this is just for resetting the timer and then what we can do is for example we just say like hey we are not clipping we are teleporting great then we just say break and then break just means that we are breaking out of the 15 times which we are repeating the whole thing so here this is getting repeated 15 times but let's say we already have our solution boom um, this is cool of course we need to get uh, rid of that and bake it into well our repeat loop because we want to uh, set this thing randomly all the time and this is pretty much the whole code so let's check this out and boom this is basically the whole code um one little thing which you uh, could or should maybe consider is for example if um, there are tons of walls maybe those 15 times are not enough and then of course you should maybe ramp up the number to 40 for me i just did it 40 because sometimes you have tight corridors and walls are everywhere and therefore um you would get stuck a little bit too often and therefore like eh, let's ramp this up and of course uh, make those walls so for example here if there is no wall down here he could theoretically teleport below which is kind of silly this is of course not what we want therefore just make this a little bit uh, well um, tight concerning uh, where he can teleport or not and this is just basically what we wanted to create so hopefully you enjoyed this and see you next time. Have a good one. One up in.